Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Today we take a look at a strength comparison between the seven-time Mr. Olympia, three-time Mr. Universe and winner of the 1968 German Powerlifting Championship, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the two-time Mr. Universe and tallest Mr. Olympia competitor of all time in Lou Ferrigno, who stood on stage in 1975 at six foot five inches tall and an estimated weight of 275 pounds. Big Lou would make a relatively successful return to the Olympia stage almost two decades later, and at a speculated weight of 325 pounds, would become the heaviest Mr. Olympia competitor of all time, where he would finish in 12th place in 1992 and 10th in 1993. The following year, Lou would make a return to bodybuilding to compete in the 1994 Masters Olympia, where he finished in the runner-up spot behind the legendary Robbie Robinson. While Arnold did compete in weightlifting and powerlifting from approximately 1963 to 1968 and thus has some officially verified lifts consisting of a 215kg squat, a 200kg bench press and a 310kg deadlift, Lou Ferrigno has no such competition history, so this video will be based off both athletes best claimed lifts and the result should be taken with a pinch of salt especially as none of these lifts were captured on video. We start the comparison with a look at a bench press, in which Arnold has a claimed personal best of 227 kilograms or 500 pounds. In 2019, during an interview with a comics, beer and sci-fi YouTube channel, Lou claimed that he used a bench press 254 kilograms or 560 pounds. As you've aged, what have you had to adjust with your training? I used to train lighter. I would train heavy like I used to. I used to bench 560. But now I just do dumbbells. But in an interview that he gave several years earlier to the Los Angeles Times, he claimed to bench press 600 pounds. And with such variations, it diminishes the legitimacy of his claims. While I have my doubts, as neither athlete's lifts can be verified, the win goes to Lou whose claimed bench press of 560 pounds was 12% heavier than Arnold's. The bench press is followed by the squat, and I was again unable to find any footage of a representative lift for either athlete. Arnold's claimed personal best was 247 kilograms or 545 pounds, and Lou claimed a squat 306 kilograms or 675 pounds. The Hulk's considerably heavier claimed squat again gives him another win, but we will revisit this claim later in the video. The final comparison is a deadlift, in which Arnold claimed a personal best of 322 kilograms or 710 pounds. Lou would claim to deadlift 386 kilograms or 850 pounds. And here he is seen doing a back deadlift with a car reportedly weighing 2,684 pounds at the inaugural World's Strongest Man in 1977. Lou's claimed deadlift of 386 kilograms is 19.7% heavier than Arnold's, and thus gives him a hat-trick of wins. And while I certainly have my doubts about the legitimacy of his claimed lifts, Lou did achieve a fourth place finish at the inaugural World's Strongest Man in 1977, in which he demonstrated superb upper body strength in winning the bar bend, and the potential of an exceptional deadlift in winning the car deadlift although this was done in an unorthodox fashion. These two performances do help to add credibility to Lou's claim to a 254kg bench press and a 386kg deadlift. However, his performance in a squat lift was far less impressive, failing at 239kg or 526 pounds on what was effectively a Smith machine, which cast doubt over his claims of a 306kg squat. However, we should consider that in a later interview, Lou claimed not to have done any preparation for the World's Strongest Man and merely competed for fun because it was being filmed at the same studio. And I got a phone call that at the same location they were having the first World's Strongest Man competition in 1977. And I was working day and night shooting the pilot of the Hulk. And I said to myself, why not jump into the competition? Because most people don't know how strong I really am. And I said, it'd be fun. I just want to compete because I've been very strong in the gym, but I wanted people to know how strong I was, and I love competition. Everyone else was doing preparation for the world's strongest man. I didn't do any preparation. I just walked from this film set, the next day, competing in the world's strongest man, and then Monday, back to filming. 
given that Lou never competed in powerlifting, along with the complete lack of any video or photographic evidence to verify his claimed lifts, it's impossible to know what he was really capable of. But given the size of his 300 plus pound frame at relatively low body fat percentages, I dare say that although unlikely, these numbers were possible. But as always, it'd be great to hear your opinion, so please leave a comment below letting me know whether you believe Lou's claimed lifts. I've left credits and the athlete's social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help to support my channel by smashing like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.